All right, today's tips are going to be on schedules, groups, the family editor, uh, link file, and some tabs. So first one, as you can see here, uh, these three transformers are in a link file. Now let's say you want to bring in these, like this particular transformer here. If you uh, tab on the transformer, and then go to copy, and then copy same place, as you can see now, I actually have it inside the project. So you don't have to go copy monitor, copy link, or anything like that. So copying elements, just the one or two elements uh, from a link file, it's pretty easy. Okay, um, next one. Uh, if you didn't know, for example, I do a lot of uh, electrical. So for me, I like the first tab to be systems, you know, but let's just say, for example, you wanted your structural. What you would do is hold down the control key and then you can drag uh, your tabs around. So that's pretty helpful. Uh, like I said, if you know, if you're doing systems like I do, do a lot of electrical, it's just easier to have it on the first tab. Uh, another thing too is, for example, let's if you didn't know this, uh, you go to options and you go to interface here. Uh, like for example, let's say I want to turn off the structural tab here. You know, let's you know I don't do any structural, so I turn it off and just you know, you can turn off you know, commands and tabs that way. Okay, groups. Have you ever had a situation where, let's say, for example, we had three rooms with the same equipment layout, and one of them just happens not to have one particular panel here, like for example, this one. So all three of these are group three. And let's say, for, for example, in this group right here, you didn't need to see that particular panel board. So uh, you can come in here, this little symbol here, and what you can do is say, it basically says ex exclude. As you can see here, it's gone. But still, when I click on it, it's still group three, and it's still there, but it's gone and it doesn't show up in the schedules. So it's pretty cool. All right, that's groups. When editing families and you're doing extrusions and you're trying to figure out like what's wrong with uh, with your family, for example, in this extrusion here, let's say I come in here and uh, and I created a, oh, let's take a look in here and we'll see. In this extrusion, I created this parameter. All right, and so if I come into, family types here and I change that to say three inches okay when I click on the button here it's gonna say remove extraints and then it's gonna say a delete but I really can't see what happened here like what what happened you know it's gone now like what happened so if you haven't you know if you see the extrusion that's giving you the issue what you can do is you can edit the extrusion do the same exact thing so for example now if I change this to three inches and I say apply, as you can see here, oh, I see what happened here. So when editing extrusions, this is a good way to, uh, you know, to debug, you know, your whatever's happening within within an extrusion. All right, so let's say um, in this case here, I'll tell you, we'll just delete that and just do it again. So I come up here and I'm gonna draw an extrusion. Uh, all right, and then we'll go to plan view. And as you can see here, I can't see it. Like, okay, that's because my view range is all whacked. Okay, like, how do I get that view range? So if you come to uh, the drop down here and say this is a you know reference plane, and now all of a sudden you've got the same control you have in your project. So now I can come to my view range and I can change that to say, let's just make it all the way up there and say 29. And as you can see here, boom, there it is. Uh, pretty helpful. Now. Uh, there's a few things you can do in here. Uh, for example, uh, well, this is how you can do it here. If you go to your 3D view and do the same thing, I can do a section box, but it doesn't really work <laughs> with the objects in your in your particular uh, you know family, unless it's a uh, embedded family. If it's embedded family, you then can use the section box for sure. 